should, given what, what went on, you know, when, what Bron, Brendan Rodgers said, you know, and, and then name being, should, should Crawford Allen then decide, well, no, I, I'm now not going to, you know, if he thought he was his man for that day, should what Brendan Rodgers said change that thinking? No, I, absolutely not. I mean, listen, you can see it from two points of view in the sense that, just for John Beaton's point of view, I mean, look, we all know um, what he's been through previously. He's had to deal with some absolutely horrendous stuff, horrendous yeah. stuff, um, just doing his job uh, previously. And, you know, you know, is there an element that, you know, because of what happened the other week that perhaps this, it was just wiser, it, was, it, it wasn't necessary to thrust him back into the spotlight like this again? I don't know. Um, I think the SFA will obviously feel listen, we cannot have clubs dictating who referees their matches. Um, it was wrong when Rangers uh, you know, came out and, and or, or behind the scenes co- co- uh, requested that Willie Collumden um, was no longer involved in, in, in their matches. And it, it would be wrong if Celtic were to ask the same of John Beaton. I don't think obviously Celtic have went to that extent yet. Um, but I, I think the SFA have got to make a stand in the day. It's not down to clubs to pick and choose who their referees are. If, if, if the SFA feel that John Beaton is the best man for the job in the day uh, and it's his turn, then they should stick by it. But I can also understand if even John Beaton himself was to decide, given what happened uh, four weeks ago at Tyne Castle and the Ferrari that's followed it, perhaps this might not be the best occasion for him to referee. Uh, to be to be involved, but clearly, you know, he, he, he's clearly taking the assignment on. He, he feels he's ready to do it. So, I think you've got to go with the SFA and, and back their decision. Um, you simply cannot have clubs try to dictate who are the, the officials for their matches. That's that's a slippery slope to somewhere we, we, none of us want to end up. So, um, if the SFA decide that John Beaton's a man, then go for it. Yeah, yeah, because you mentioned the Willie Collum. Of course, that was uh, that was going back to when he was on VR duty for the the last stall for him. It wasn't it December thirty? And am I right in saying it took until February ten for him yeah. to be to be handy another Rangers game? So yeah, yeah, I think there was a spell. There was a game against St. Midden a couple of years ago where. Uh, Rangers also. I think he, he, was it, he sent off Kindeus. I think it was for blowing kisses, wasn't it? The blowing yeah. kisses, yeah. It's and okay. Rangers, obviously, I think that was one of the first times Rangers raised issues with the SFA over Willie Collum. And yeah. again, then I think it took a long while for him to, yeah. to come back in. So again, you know, that comes down to is that a case of they decided to to give him that wee bit of breathing space and allow things to calm down. But is it have they done have they done that in consultation with Willie Collum? We don't know. Yeah, and then, you know, with John Beaton, have they asked him? Do you want to be stood down? We don't know, but you know, even if they have, if he said no, I'm ready to go again, then they're perfectly entitled to, to name him. And, you know, listen, I mean, I, I'm totally with Fraz. At the end of the day, none of us get any football to be talking about referees and dodgy decisions and or erroneous calls or human mistakes. I mean. We all love the game because we we love the the spectacle, the sport, the referee inside of it. I think is, is something that gets overblown at times, and maybe we in, in our side of the business are, are as guilty as MD for for that. Um, but I think just for everyone, given what's at stake on Sunday, I think we just prefer it was decided by the the players on either side rather than what happens uh, in the VAR room or uh, on the pitch with the referee. 